Okay, now the last scene was 110 astronomical units across. Uh, let go, let's go up by another factor of a uh, 100. So now we have a box that is uh, 11,000 astronomical units across. Right, 110 times 100 is <coughs> 11,000. And the entire previous scene is now contained in this little red square here. All of the solar system is contained here. We don't see anything else there, right? All this, the entire solar system is contained in this little box here. Let us go up by another factor of 100. So that uh, now we have um, one million and hundred uh, 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 thousand astronomical units across. So I have one one zero 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 zero, and on this scale, on this scale, we start seeing. In addition to our sun, we start seeing other stars. Now, let me tell you one thing about these so-called star, chart, uh, star charts. Different stars are represented by little circles. And you notice that uh, different circles have different diameters. You should not interpret this that the one that is uh, depicted by a bigger circle, circle is bigger than the one depicted by the smaller circle. No. When you look at the stars, even with the best telescopes, they always appear, appear to be point-like. They don't have finite size. Okay? Uh, what the size of the blob indicates, it indicates how bright it appears to be. The brightness of a star depends on its intrinsic brightness or luminosity, that is how much energy it produces, but it also depends on its distance from us, right? You know that if you are driving along this long uh, straight highway, two-way highway, uh, in the middle of the night, a car approaching you Initially, its headlights appear to be very dim, right? And it, as it gets closer and closer to you, the headlights appear to be brighter and brighter. The headlights produce the same amount of energy per unit time. They have the same luminosity. What is changing is the distance between you and the headlights, okay? So the size of the blob here represents the apparent brightness of the star. The bigger the blob, the brighter the star is. So on this scale, we start uh, seeing, in addition to sun, other stars. Now note that now uh, the astronomical unit has become too small a yardstick. We need a large number of uh, astronomical units to express, say, a typical distance between the stars. So the time has arrived to change the yardstick once again. And when we talk about the distances between the stars, the natural unit to use is so-called light year. It's the distance that the light moving at 300,000 kilometers per second travels in one year. So you saw that the light takes one point, roughly three seconds to reach us once it bounces off the surface of the moon. It takes 8.3 minutes for the light produced by the sun to reach us here on Earth uh, at a distance of one astronomical unit, okay? So can you imagine how much larger the distance is that the light travels in one year. 
365 and a quarter days in a year, each day 24 hours, each hour 60 minutes, each minute 60 seconds. LY in short, and that is the distance light travels in one year. at uh, a speed of 300,000 kilometers per second. Okay? So then one light year would be uh, the speed times the time, right? The speed, 300,000 kilometers per second, speed of light, times the time, which is 365 and a quarter days. Now, there's uh, uh, 24 hours per day. Then there are 60 minutes per hour, and there are 60 seconds per minute, okay? So the minutes will uh, cancel, hours will cancel, days will cancel, seconds would cancel, so you would have to multiply 300,000 with 365.4 times 24 times 60 times 60, and you get about 10 to the 13 kilometers. Billion kilometers would be 10 to the 9 kilometers, right? Million kilometers is 10 to the 6th. So this is 10 million million kilometers. There is even one uh, larger unit than a billion. It's so-called trillion. It's thousand billions. That would be 10 to the 12th. So this is about 10 trillion kilometers. And from this, in knowing that one astronomical unit is 150 million kilometers, this turns out to be about 63,000 astronomical units. So that's connection between different yardsticks. One light year is the same thing as about 10 trillion kilometers, 10 to the 13 kilometers or 63,000 astronomical units. And it turns out that the stars closest to us are at a distance of about 4.3 light years. <laughs>